morning everybody hope you're doing well hope you're staying safe i think it's the weekend oh yeah it is it's saturday the second of may welcome to orlando another, another beautiful day here today the news today cases in the u.s and florida unfortunately not great news both going up um map of states showing which are going to be open in the next week and which are open right now might shock you might not it's about half the states we'll see see about that um state parks in Florida are going to open up on Monday, no great shock there I don't think and Governor DeSantis seems to think that you know, going out and about and maintaining social distancing is a good thing and I don't disagree. Governor DeSantis is preparing for a second wave of the cases by buying 11 million more masks. Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings has sent a letter to Governor DeSantis asking that hairdressers, nail salons and barbers be deemed essential businesses. He's also outlined his plans for reopening the businesses, which are very similar to Governor DeSantis's. Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings also said that permits would be required for outdoor seating for coffee shops and restaurants, so there won't be any outdoor seating on Monday. Osceola County said that it was going to follow the uh, Ron DeSantis's guidelines for reopening businesses to the letter, so that's what Osceola County are going to do. And finally, Disney have pushed a message out to everybody on the My Disney Experience app telling them that Disney Springs is currently closed just in case people wanted to get down there. So that's the news today. If you're new to the channel, where have you been? We've been doing this for over a month now, but welcome. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll get this every day. Six days a week usually now is when I'm pushing the news out. Um, so let's let's get to the news. US daily cases yesterday stood at 36,007, that's the fourth daily increase in a row. On Thursday in Florida we had a spike with new cases approaching 1,000. I did try to find out why this was but there appears to be no news on it. This map shows the states that are in green which are opening or will be opened within the next week. That's around half of the states. Governor Ron DeSantis had two press briefings on Friday with the biggest news probably being that the state parks will be reopening on Monday. Governor DeSantis did also speak about the possibility of a second wave of infections and has ordered 12 million more N95 masks. In Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings' press briefing yesterday, he outlined guidelines for reopening businesses. This pretty much mirrored Governor Ron DeSantis' guidelines and are as follows. Practice social distancing, stay home when feeling sick, wear protective face coverings, conduct health screenings, sanitize and wash hands frequently, working from home if you're a high-risk individual, and having temperature checks in place for staff. Surprisingly, yesterday Mayor Demings also called for nail salons, hairdressers and barbers to be opened as essential services. And this is a copy of the letter that he sent to Governor DeSantis. Mayor Demings also stated that if businesses wanted to use outdoor seating, they would require permits. Given that yesterday was Friday, this will not now happen before reopening on Monday. Yesterday in Osceola County, where Disney also sits, Mayor of Kissimmee, Joe Alvarez, said that they would be following Ron DeSantis' guidelines for the reopening of businesses in Phase 1. Finally today, in anticipation of people going to Disney Springs, Walt Disney World sent a pop-up notification to users of the My Disney Experience, reminding them that Disney Springs is currently closed. No announcement from Disney has yet been made on when Disney Springs will reopen. Similarly, no announcement has been made by Universal Orlando when Universal City Walk will open. So not great news on US and Florida cases. US cases going up for the fourth day running and I'm told or I read that this is due to the states that have opened up already now showing a little higher cases. So what's going to happen to Florida on Monday? It spiked, we spiked uh, on Thursday to a thousand cases, the most for a while. And I'm hoping people are going to be sensible when they go out on Monday. I don't know how many businesses are going to open up. I don't know whether they've got the hand sanitizer, the social distancing rules in place, moving around of racks for, for stores, um, whether they've got the essentials that they need to open up restaurants and coffee shops, you know, they're going to need fresh produce. So it'll be interesting to see how many do open up on Monday. If I get the chance, I will go out and have a, a little look. Um, that map of the states, shows that half the states are going to be open by next week. I hope people are going to be sensible all around America in what they do in going out shopping and not socialising. If they've got a beach, I hope they're going to keep the distance. If they've got a state park, similar. And if, they, if they're buying a cup of coffee, hopefully they've got those six foot markers like we do in the grocery stores right now. Um, 
Governor DeSantis is obviously preparing for a second wave. I hope that does not come because it's going to take far more than 11 million masks to solve that problem. Masks is just going to be uh, something that's reactive, not proactive. Orange County Mayor wants to get barbershops, hairdressers and nail salons open. People laughed when they did that in Georgia and not all of them are open. I just fear for people's safety if that happens and Governor DeSantis says yes. If he does say yes, then all the counties are going to want it. So I kind of hope that he's going to say no. Even though I know people are struggling and it's difficult, but putting people within, well, at arm's length, or not even arm's length, an arm's length to your head, no, I, I don't get how that is responsible. So I, I really hope that doesn't happen. Um, Mayor Demings also stated that outdoor seating would need a permit. Well, okay, it was Friday, so that's not going to happen by Monday. So I don't know how many permits people are going to apply for, or how many people are going to apply for the permits. It could be hundreds or thousands. And how quickly those permits are going to be processed. I guess by maybe the 11th we'll see outdoor seating in place for some. Osceola uh, County is going to adopt uh, Governor DeSantis's rules uh, just across the board. And don't forget Osceola County is where Disney partially is as well. So no big news coming out of Osceola County. And then finally Disney, I guess, felt it had to do a push notice out to everybody on the My Disney app. Just to reiterate that Disney Springs isn't open. I don't think they'll open this week. I think they might open Monday the 11th. I can't see them opening on, on the weekend. I don't think they can open on the 4th. They just won't have time to get everything in place. But they might do a soft opening without telling anybody and then they might and so let's see who goes down there and how that operates and then they might do like a full opening and announcement maybe they'll do another push notice it'll probably be in the press and uh, again i hope when disney springs opens that people do take care that they, everybody doesn't rush down there and crowd disney springs but you know that's going to be big news when that opens and, and ditto city walk and there's no news from disney or universal orlando on when either disney springs or city walk will open so i'm going to keep an eye out for that and that's going to be huge news so that's the news for today stay well stay safe i'll see you monday until then take care bye bye <laughs>